Just when I think I've seen every haunted house idea out there, I get my mind blown. In the house at the end of time, a woman returns to the home where her husband and son died and she did time for their murders, but she believes this place is responsible for their deaths. This Venezuelan suspense gem uses classic ghost scares to make an original, excellent film. Dulce was convicted of the murder of her family and sentenced to prison for 30 years. After serving out this time, she's returned to the same home where the murders were committed, but she believes that something terrifying in these walls is responsible. This is one screwed up legal system. A priest comes to visit her, believing in her innocence, and she recounts the ordeal that led up to these killings. As the Dulce of the past is haunted by an unknown presence, the exact same thing begins to happen to the old woman in the present. This is one of the most surprising films I've seen at least this year. I am not embellishing. Now at the beginning, I had a couple of problems with it. I didn't think the makeup job for the main actress to look older was particularly good, but very quickly the compelling script and this very interesting story had me glued to this film. Now what gives the intensity to this mystery is that the characters are given emotional power by a surprising cast and the director really took his time to make a supernatural film feel real. This is a mother trying to save her family and avenge them at the same time. And the unearthly specter that she's facing is brought to life by practical effects. Now there are a few special effects here and there, but mostly it's actor placement, the use of shadow or the use of light that really scares you and really sells the story. This movie scared me. There are these well-placed moments and scenes that just have the right lighting that had me freaking out a little bit. I may or may not have shouted at the screen a time or two, but it's the building intensity here, how every scene works with the next to get our fear pumping that had me a little bit nervous about when this unearthly force was gonna show up again and a little worried about some of these characters. What makes this film truly exceptional are the twists. It's like being on a well-made roller coaster. It doesn't get you sick. It doesn't confuse you. It just keeps upping the thrills. Now, if you want to see this movie, don't read any more about it. Don't talk to anyone about it because the surprises are worth it. The House at the End of Time is a suspense fest that truly exceeded my expectations. At the beginning, I thought it was okay, but I was quickly pulled into an excellent ghost story. Now, if you're not a big time horror fan, don't worry. This movie is still for you. The surprises and the quality are still impressive to see. It's actually kind of funny because I'm house hunting right now. And if I found a place this cool and for the right price, those ghosts are going halvesies on the rent.